Michael. Great. We're gonna do a Christmas play today. Okay. Never mind. How about being angels or stars? Done that. Oh yeah. Luke, what are you doing? We never did sock puppets before. And there's a good reason for that. Why? Do I really have to tell you? Yeah! You can't replace the baby Jesus with a sock! You're right. one and all to this week's episode. Today we have a very special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Barney. Welcome, Barney. Anyways, Barney here is going to help me tell a Christmas story. Because I was there. That can't be true. It happened over 2,000 years ago. You'd be ancient by now. Oh, okay. So I wasn't there, but my great, 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 Okay, just get to the point. Anyway, the story has been passed down by my family for generations. So you're going to tell the story like you're your great-great-great-grandfather? You left out a few greats. I know. I was trying to conserve time. We want to get to the story eventually. Okay. Can I start now? First, let's give the listeners some insight as to what happened before this part in the Christmas story. What do you think? Okay. Let's do that. A long time ago, in a town called Nazareth, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, who was promised to be married to a man named Joseph. Gabriel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. But something bad has to happen, right? Technically, yes. Bum, bum, what? Did Joseph leave her? Bum, bum, but seriously, when Joseph found out about Mary's baby, he decided to divorce her quietly, because he was a righteous man who followed the law. But an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. It seems like angels are everywhere. Are they even in your dreams? That's right, even in your dreams. Ooh. Well, what happens next? Joseph took Mary as his wife, but they didn't sleep together until the baby was born. So how did they end up in Bethlehem? The Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the entire Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So Mary and Joseph had to travel to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem in Judea because he was a descendant of King David. And when they got there, Mary was expecting her child. So she and Joseph went to an inn to stay there for the night. But guess what? What? There wasn't any room! So Mary and Joseph had to stay in a stable! With the animals! With the stinky animals? Ew! Yeah, it's gross! Anyhow, while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son.
were all caught up, why don't you tell us your part of the Christmas story, Barney? Sure. So there we were in the field. It was an ordinary night, nothing special. And we were doing what we usually do at night in the fields. You mean you were mowing the lawn? Sure, why not? The shepherds are there to make sure we were safe. Okay, so you were grazing. What happened next? Suddenly, we were interrupted by a bright light. It was like God had turned on the sun in the middle of the night. That must have really scared you. Not me. So what did you do? I hid behind the shepherd. I thought you said you weren't scared. I wasn't once I was behind the shepherd. I knew he would protect me. That is until I noticed that he was frightened too. There was this being standing among the shepherds. He said, do not be afraid, so I wasn't afraid anymore. Do you mean the angel? It spoke to you? Yes. The angel went on to say, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. The baby? In a manger? Yes, the baby. You won't get a full-grown person in a manger. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So what happened next? Then there was a multitude of angels, like an immensely massive group of angels. And they were shouting praises to God. It was really beautiful. I bet it was. Yeah, so the shepherds heard off to find Mary and Joseph and the baby. Did you go with them? Of course. You think I'm just going to hang out in some field at night by myself and miss out on meeting the Messiah? Okay, that makes sense. So did you find the baby? Yes, we did. And it was just like the angel had said. We found him in a stable, lying in a manger. His mom seemed very happy to see us, and we were excited to see the baby Jesus. When the shepherds had seen him, they spread the word concerning what was told to them about this child. Well, that's a very good story. And stop interrupting me. Sorry. Thank you. I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay. After that, everywhere we went, the shepherds told everyone they met about the angels, the baby, and what was said about the baby, how the Christ had been born as promised. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's the end. Well, that's a great story, Barney. Thanks for sharing with us. You're welcome. Do you think we should be more like the shepherds that tell others about Jesus? Oh yes, I tell everyone, anytime I get the chance. Everyone needs to know about God's gift of his son. Well, I'm glad you joined us for this week's episode, and we'll tell others too, because everyone needs to know about the good tidings of great joy, King Jesus. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive her King. Yeah.